Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Welcome Grove Homestead. This morning, we are going to uh, we're going to do a project in the barn. We're going to prepare for the oncoming joining of a new animal to the farm. Because we're doing this, you're going to kind of get an idea. But yes, it is a yeah. I'm not going to tell you. If you figure it out, that's good on you. Uh, the reason it's me this morning and not my lovely, beautiful, wonderful superhero of a wife, Amanda because Amanda lost her voice, which we're gonna have some fun with because I like to play fill in the blank. So when she's trying to say something, I'm just gonna tell you what she's trying to say. We're gonna see how crazy we can drive her. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you our project and we're gonna get going. So this area behind me is the main project area for the day. As you can see, the ground is, well, it's not exactly level. And when you're uh, walking around a large animal like uh, that we're getting, uh, you're gonna need a flat area that is not gonna trip them up. Yes, that's right, I'm talking about a T-Rex. We are getting a T-Rex here on the farm. Just stay tuned. Um, but it's hard to milk a T-Rex uh, on unlevel ground. So uh, we're gonna get our tractor in here. We're gonna level this out. There's a lot of junk, like this old bent up fence. We're gonna have to just kind of move it to the side. It'll probably be recycled for another project. Let's not be uh, too hasty throwing things away. But there's also a lot of high quality junk like this <laughs> that we're gonna find a new home for, like a fire pit because that's just how we roll around here. I'm looking forward to like getting rid of just junk that's accumulated over the years. I'm told that this ground was actually intentionally piled up manure from years of this being an old dairy barn. And so I'm guessing that there's some pretty good manure um, compost sitting here that we can uh, put directly in the garden. So we're gonna kill a couple birds with one stone and get this area ready to go. So this is the kind of thing we find on the farm that we're like, oh, this is interesting. I wonder what they were thinking. This is just chain tied into a knot. And it's not easily undone. Now maybe that was what they were exactly what they were thinking. You know, we want a chain right in the middle of this that is not easily undone. They nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I'm work on that for a minute and realize I'm not gonna be undoing this anytime soon. And again. I guess I don't really need to save this small piece of old rusted chain, but it would be nice. Over here, we have a hardworking Dale who is opening up this side room in the barn. Uh, it's currently being stored, used as like storage for old rotted wood, which to me looks like a bonfire in the making. And of course we have some hay on the other side. Uh, the idea in this project is to uh, go ahead and make all this stall here usable for the winter just adjacent to this area that we're cleaning out. And from a lower perspective, you can see that's a hill of manure there. Well, everyone as promised, I have the illustrious Amanda in her royal robes. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, she has no voice, so I will do the translating. Go ahead and say something and I'll tell them what you mean. Oh no. <laughs> she says, I'm really good at dad jokes. <laughs> I literally can't say anything. She says the Wi-Fi in this barn used to be really bad. Oh no. But now the connection's uh, stable. This is, <laughs> is, is going to be so much fun. This right. is so much fun. <laughs> She's saying something along the lines of, did you hear about the magical tractor? I might actually need help, guys. It turned into a barn. <laughs> that was a good one, honey. <laughs> See, now he can talk right over me. She I'm also says it. I'm really good looking and we're doing a great job out here. <laughs> Anyway, as you can see, she has no voice, but she's very proud of us. I'd kiss you, but six feet, you're all, you know, whole social distancing thing. <laughs> all right, I will make her stand on camera. Go do your sicko thing somewhere else. I'm gonna else. take a shower and see if it helps bring some voice back. All right, go get some steam in you. Love you. I love you. All right, everyone, you ready? Maybe. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this.
Well, so far it's a pretty good transformation. Um, this is uh, coming right along. Went from an unusable or unused area to something that is soon to be in really good condition to use, and so that's pretty awesome. Uh, this is that I dragged out. I did mostly because it was um, going to help the tractor get in here. Uh, we're going to use a lot of this as compost. It's old cow poop that just got piled up over the years. So we'll be taking that out in some loads and then filling this whole area in with drainable rock um, eventually. We gotta, we gotta figure out how we're gonna drain this to make sure water doesn't come into the barn. Uh, but we're pretty happy with the progress so far, yeah? Yeah, we're finding all kinds of exciting goodies in this whole uh, area. What do you got there? It's Bailey? literally just wire. It's a wire. And that's pretty much what we found. A lot of old trash. And, and Dale and I were talking about this, it's like, why would you use your barn as a garbage heap? I don't know. Because you don't want it to get rained on? You don't want to take a trip to the dump? I, I just don't. I haven't quite registered all the logic in this yet, but uh, in the meantime, we're going to get it usable and get it in help it. Oh, boy. Good boy. Go get it. Come on, Mama. There you go. It's like, it's like weeding. There you go, good boy. Here, come get the rest. Get in. Come get the rest. There you go. All right, get it up. Good boy. Thank you. Face filling. Service dog for the speech impaired. Meanwhile, in the uh, goat, I'm sorry, the cow trough, they have sleeping children. All right, take it out. Good boy. Good boy. Smart dog. <laughs> Thank you, helper pup. Uh -uh, don't tear it up, though. Get in. Leave it. Well, we have family visiting today. Amanda's aunt and uncle, Jim and Penny are here, and I believe Penny's in there getting a milking lesson. Let's see. Hi everybody, this is Audrey. I'm talking because mom has no voice and she can't talk, so. <laughs> so. Mommy's aunt and uncle are visiting us for the weekend. And so, come on over and meet Aunt Penny. Hi. I'm Aunt Penny. Look at goat, yay. She's in here learning how to milk a goat. She milked Nestle. Just a little bit. But she's learning. Yes. And it's beautiful hair. More beautiful than I dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. Uh, I'm so mommy, glad to have family mommy. closer. Yay! So I've been in here milking the goats. Mr. Rocket is a little too personable for milking time. He actually can reach his head through the fence over here and he rubs his nasty, stinky beard all over my back, the back of my neck, in my hair. It's nasty. So he gets to go in the lockup pen now instead of Maggie. So the Bucks and Obi are in lockup. <clears throat> Rocket will get to come back out when we're done milking. Hey, Bindi. Hey, Kelp, what you doing? I am doing my chores. Want to show us how? Sure. All right, doing your roundup? Yep. Look at them. All done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> hey turkeys. <laughs> 